Hello, everybody. This is George Kunis with Zesto Audio. And today, I have some tips on how to properly ground a power amplifier. And uh, what I'm going to cover on ground loops and hums and the best way to resolve those problems. Occasionally, when you hook up a system uh, or you introduce a new piece of equipment, you get a hum. And after playing with it for a while, what you'll, what some people find is that by lifting the ground on the power amplifier, that uh, on the mains cable of the power amplifier, that uh, the hum goes away. Well, uh, that's well and good. It solves that problem. You got rid of your hum. Now, the problem is, though, that you have created a secondary problem that could come up later. And uh, uh, when it do if it does, it could be really bad. So here, here's, here's, uh, here's the thing. The reason that you have a hum and the reason it gets resolved when you disconnect the, uh, the mains cord, uh, the ground cord, uh, on your uh, power amp. And this applies both uh, if you have a, uh, a power conditioner or not. It has it has nothing to do with it. Um, by lifting the mains, uh, the ground on your mains cable, what happens is you are disconnecting one of the two grounds going to your amplifier. There's one ground through your preamp and the interconnect cable to your amp, and the other one ground is directly on the mains cable. Now, the mains cable is designed to protect you and your amplifier in case something goes wrong. And if something does go wrong, what will happen is if the amplifier is only grounded from your preamp, then all that current and all that voltage from your power amplifier is looking for somewhere to go to ground. And that place will be through your interconnect cable to your preamp and could damage the preamp, could damage your cable, uh, could damage whatever else happens to be on, including your speakers. Not only that, but the case of the amplifier could get electrically hot. And if you touch it to turn it off, you could get shocked. None of this is good. And there's an alternate way to do this, and I think a much safer way, and, uh, and I will describe it. Now, this only applies if you're using balanced cables. So this is a, a, you know, a plus for balanced cables here to use them. Balanced cables use, uh, and what I'm talking about, by the way, on lifting the ground to the, to the mains is uh, uh, in the US, uh, this is a typical uh, connector. It's called a cheetah plug. And you plug your mains plug into this, which is the three pins facing you. And the two pins go into your mains outlet. And what it does is, if you, you can't really see it here, but there's only two pins uh, facing away from you. That goes into the wall. And the three pins from your mains cable going in. So effectively, you have disconnected the ground of your uh, power amplifier from the ground of the mains. Now, I'm saying don't do this. And, uh, and uh, let me explain something about the uh, an interconnect cable, a balanced one. Now, <clears throat> this is a typical three-pin XLR connector. This is how, this is a simple diagram on it. Pin one is the ground, pin two is the hot, that's, and pin three is the negative. Now, the two and three are the signals. One is the ground. And here's a diagram of a typical balanced XLR cable uh, interconnect. Pin one goes to pin one, pin two goes to pin two, and pin three goes to pin three, from one end of the cable to the other. And as I said, pins two and three are the signal. Now, pin one is the ground, and in a balanced cable, as it turns out, uh, all you need the ground for is the shield to the cable. Uh, now, that means that pin one does not necessarily have to go connect, be connected rather on both ends. It could only is necessary to hook it up at one end. And in this case, uh, and, well, the convention is that you hook it up to the female end, uh, the source of your signal, and not the male end. This is where the destination where it's going. 
Um, now, there's a simple way, and what I would recommend is to disconnect pin one at the male end. Now, I'm not saying, hey, open up the cable, your expensive internet cable, and cut off pin one. No, uh, no don't do that. That's, uh, that would not be a good idea. But there are other ways of doing it. Uh, for instance, commercially, there are little adapters there's, uh, the, that you could buy that actually you plug your interconnect cable in, and then plug that into your amp. And then what that will do is lift pin one. The, and I think I found this on Amazon or somewhere. They're, they're all over the place. They're not very expensive, and they're very short. I mean, these things are really short. And so the... Uh, that that don't affect your signal significantly. It's it, there isn't that much there to to work with, honestly. It's just small uh, adapter. Now the advantage of doing this is that you can plug it in and see if it gets rid of it and and not. What I'm suggesting is uh, don't use um, don't use a one of these cheetah plugs to uh, disconnect the ground to your amplifier because it's dangerous dangerous to you you can get electrocuted and it's dangerous to your uh, valuable equipment that could get seriously damaged instead use something that will break the ground at the signal that way your preamplifier is not the ground point for your power amplifier it was never designed to do that if something goes wrong as I said it's trouble on our equipment uh, I have designed uh, built in a ground lift switch on all our power amplifiers. And what this does is disconnects pins one at two of that XLR connector. It literally just turns it off. And personally, I recommend uh, on our equipment, anyone uh, using our power amplifiers to uh, not have that on unless you need it. I mean, I never turn the thing on. I mean, I, it, it's so unnecessary. Now, it just depends on the rest of your equipment, your preamp and so on. But I, unless you have a reason to, I really recommend do not uh, hook, hook up pin one and make sure your power amplifier is properly grounded so that, uh, so that you, can, uh, pro you can have safety both for yourself and your equipment. Now, all this, of course, does not apply to RCA connectors, to single-ended, because you have to have that ground connected. Otherwise, you, you, you have huge problems. Uh, and, and so that's, that's the takeaway, I guess. Ground your amp power amplifiers properly through the mains. And uh, if you need to, disconnect pin one on the XLR connector at the power amp. Uh, so uh, this is George Kunis from Zesto Audio, and hopefully uh, this has been useful. And uh, I will be back on the air uh, next week, hopefully. Thank you. Thank you for your time.